Franklin Toon, and I am one of the Spanish. Hi, I'm Cindy Franklin Toon, and I'm one of the Spanish teachers here at Speedway High School. I teach levels three, four, AP language and literature. I am happy that you are um, taking time to watch this video tonight, and um, I thank you for the time. Um, just some brief information about my course and what I expect um, from my students. So, so first of all, um, I do expect that all of my students speak and practice Spanish every day. Um, I want them to participate in class as much as possible to talk to one another in Spanish and to um, take opportunities outside of class to do those things as well. Um, I highly encourage them to listen to Spanish radio, um, watch a TV show in Spanish, um, speak with somebody who speaks Spanish outside of class, um, and again, um, just participate as much as possible. Um, the more they're around the language, the easier it is for them to pick up and um, to start feeling that confidence that they need to speak another language. For grading, um, I grade 20% uh, is classwork, and that would be things that we do together, or I may give them time to start in class, and then I'll go around and check them and help them, um, and then they would probably turn, at the end, turn in at the end of the period. Tests and quizzes are 35% of their grade. Um, so far, we've only had tests um, in Spanish 3, Spanish 4, and 5 are doing more of some writing things. They'll be counted as test work. Um, online, our program that we're using this year is VOSES, and it is a digital program. And um, so that will have um, a lot of the grades will be incorporated using that. Um, there's it ranges from everything from listening exercises to um, reading to writing some things, listening to music, um, answering some questions, true, false, answering some longer sentences, writing essays. So kind of everything is encompassed in our um, digital program. Projects, we'll do probably um, one small project each quarter um, that will put everything together that we've been working on um, or maybe with one of the novels that we're reading. And then speaking and listening is 15% of their grade as well. So, you know, are they um, practicing in class? Are they listening? Are they able to comprehend when directions are given in Spanish. So daily, we are doing some kind of a writing prompt, usually at the beginning of class for our bell work. Um, we'll read and act out um, short stories, short plays. They learn a lot of the vocabulary through context, but I also present some of that vocab. Um, songs, and then what's really cool about the program that we're using this year is that all of the AP themes are incorporated from levels one to five, so or one to AP. So that means that students are introduced in the very beginning with the themes um, that are AP centered, like for instance, um, families and communities, um, global impact and the environment, um, all the different, the six different themes that are incorporated, the kids will be touching on them in, in some way. We'll also be reading some novels, I had, like I mentioned before. Um, we have seven different novels for each level. Um, probably won't read seven. We'll probably read two to three this year. And um, that will be based, um, a lot of it will be based on reading in class and then uh, maybe answering some of the questions at home. The new standards for Indiana for foreign language or for world language is that students are actually using the language. They're not so much grammar based anymore. So we're kind of going more towards the skill based and a little bit less towards grammar. That doesn't mean that we won't be doing grammar. We will be doing grammar, especially in Spanish three. Um, I think it's very important that they know how to conjugate the verbs, um, that they know when to use the right tense and um, to put those all together. So we do still spend quite a bit of time in third year doing grammar, but not um, as much as maybe as in the past. Um, and then in Spanish four, we are doing um, quite a bit of putting everything together that they've learned the last three years. So um, that's a very um, nice intimate class. We are um, doing a lot of speaking and um, I'm doing that just to get them more comfortable and um, 
doing a lot of um, reading um, based on, um, like I said, those AP levels. And um, so why should kids study Spanish? Well, obviously, um, it's the fastest growing language. It's an awesome language to know. It's great for the kids. Um, we have a lot of students around here who speak Spanish, so it's great practice for them. But also, um, they can get lots of college credit. Um, we have partnered with Ivy Tech to do dual credit, and students will get um, eight credit hours if they take Spanish three and are eligible for the Ivy Tech credit this year. And if they take four, they get an additional six. So they can get a, dish, a total of 14 credit hours with Ivy Tech that will go to any state um, public um, college in Indiana. And those do not cost anything. The only thing they have to do is they have to apply at Ivy Tech. And we'll be doing that sometime in September or October. The kids just have to fill out the information online. And um, they'll be sent a number to register with Ivy Tech. And when they take their PSAT, we look at their PSAT scores, and that will determine um, basically whether or not they can apply for the dual credit. So it's a pretty simple process. It's pretty much um, done here at school. You, they might just need your help filling out the um, dual credit application that is online. And obviously, um, I'd love to see lots of kids majoring and minoring in Spanish. Um, I have many students that will come back and tell me that they only needed two or three courses to finish out their degree. So there's lots of opportunities for them um, with Spanish. As far as um, help, um, if students need anything, they can always come and see me. Um, I have, I'm usually available to help after school. There's lots of websites. You can pretty much Google any kind of grammar topic that we're having, and um, the kids can find information on that. Also, we have study tables every night after or Tuesdays and Thursdays after school. And um, I can always find a tutor um, from the National Honor Society or someone around my classes that would be willing to do that. Um, I know that's a lot of information. If you have any questions or would like to talk to me personally, please give me a call here at school or give me an email. Thank you and have a great evening.